Okay, so how did I come up with this color palette? Well, there are a number of ways that we can find colors that work well together. And there's a lot um, that we can learn about color theory and what colors mean. Um, but when it comes to this particular color palette, I really wanted to go for something that was, um, that would represent motorbikes, okay? So I started by just Google searching I'm not going to type in Google, motorbikes. And I just did a regular search. And then I looked up images. So if you go into Google, I mean, it's going to give you a whole bunch of different, um, different tabs here. And I went to Google images. And I had a look. I was like, wow, these are cool. <laughs> are there any that I really like? And I'm just looking for colors here, looking for colors. Is this a nice one? Oh, there's so many nice motorbikes. Uh, stop. Ooh, I like this electric motorbike. I actually saw a nice one, a nice color that I used and it was this one right here. Okay. So this color, I was like, oh, I would really like to have that color in my website. So. Let's just click on that one. Where did it go? Here it is. So this is the original image right here. Now I wanted to grab this color. And how do we do that? Well, um, I have a, uh, a color pick eyedropper thing installed. Um, we have an extension, um, I have an extension uh, a video on how you can install this. There's one on Google Chrome that you can install. Um, and it's really, really great. Basically, you can use this eyedropper to pick any single color from any page on the web um, that you like. So you can look up any images um, that you like um, that's related to your business or um, your industry and then find an image, find a color that, that you think represents your what you're doing really well and grab it. So here I'm just going to click this and that allows me to hover over any color area that I like and I just go on this one right here and I just click that and I just grab this color. So this is the hex code of um, the hex code is an individual code so every single color that exists. I don't know how many thousands or millions of colors there are on the different shades of colors um, this is the exact code for this exact shade of this kind of orangey bronzy color um, so I grab that and I can use it anywhere so where I went to to find the um, the color palette so colors that are actually going to match this color I went to this uh, website called colormind.io I actually have a, um, you'll see here that I've got bookmarks for all my different the different projects and that I work for and the different things that I'm interested in. I've got one here for web design and I've got a whole folder full of my favorite color palette tools because there are a lot out there. But one of my favorite ones is ColorMind because it allows me to, um, it allows me to visualize what it's gonna look like on a website. So the way that I use this tool, and you might have your favorite tool that you use and that's totally fine, you can do that, but for in this example, I'm just gonna use this one. So the way that this works is that it's, it's based on um, picking colors for your website, website colors, see here. And each of these boxes has a different, obviously a different color, but I'm just going to scroll down for a second. It's good to have a main brand color, a dark accent color, dark shades color, light accent and light shades because it's really important to have contrast on your website. So you wouldn't want to have lots of really bright colors and no neutral colors because then it will be really like gaudy and it'll be hard to see. And it's really important that your website is accessible for people who have um, who are vision impaired, and 
one of the, the important things for to make your website accessible is to make sure that you have a really high contrast. So if you have a light background, so you look at this light background, it's white, and the, the writing, the text, is a dark shade, a dark colour, so it stands out and you can see it. And the same goes for whether it's on a dark background, like here, it's a dark background, and the writing is a light colour. Um, and it's important that that um, it's easy to, to see and easy to read. So that's why it's important to have a variety. And here, colormine.io has, has seen that this is really important for websites, and they've got these different um, types, and they will create them for you. So let's go up to the top, and I'll show you how to do this. So the color that we've grabbed, and it's on our, um, we've, I've copied it, I copied that hex code, so all I need to do is paste it now. I'm gonna, that's gonna be my main brand color. So I'm gonna click on this, I will paste it. I'm doing Command V or Control V, which is paste, and I've put it into here. Um, this isn't. This actually isn't the exact same color that I had in my uh, this style guide right here um, because I. I must have picked a different one. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab, just say I grabbed this hex code from that motorbike there. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click on it. There we go. And what I need to do here, and I sometimes mess this up, but you need to click the lock button. So I want to lock this color in place and I want to change the rest of them. So now um, I want to click this button and go generate. And see, it's given me a color palette. And I can click this generate a lot of times. So if I don't like this one, I go, yeah, no, I'm not really sure if I like that one. Generate. And it might give me another one. It's like, oh, I'm not too sure about that dark purple. Well, those are kind of the same, so not not a fan of that. Generate. Oh, yeah, this one looks more, this looks pretty neutral. I quite like that one. I then, if I once I'm happy with that, I highly recommend don't click generate again because I found that you can't go back. So once it's generated at once, it generates it quite randomly based on the on what works well, of course. Um, but once you've found something that you quite like, I mean, you don't have to settle on it. You can change it, but just be aware that um, if you click the generate button again or if you refresh, it's going to lose these hex codes. So what you want to do here is um, grab the hex code by clicking on it and then, you know, uh, right click, copy, and then go to your style guide, not this one. Let me get rid of that one actually. Uh, let me. And then go into here, go into this little um, search box here and then paste and it's gonna pop up with that color there. And then you just click it, it's gonna turn it into that color. And what I like to do here is to add the hex code. Let me just zoom in a bit so we can see this a bit better. I'm gonna paste, get rid of that second hash. And now that hex code is in here. We can see what it is, we can reuse it, and we know what the color looks like. So what I would do is I would oops, go back to here, go here, if I like that one. This is the dark ac uh, accent color. And I would copy that, uh, oops, <laughs> and then put it in the dark accent area like this. And then change this one here. And so on, and I would do the re do the rest, okay. But I'm gonna get rid of that because I quite like this color palette, and I'm going to keep that. Okay, what I'm also gonna do is just grabbing this one, and I'm changing this background here, actually, because. There we go. 
So now the background of here was that. Anyway, so now we have the color palette. Um, there are lots of different ways that we can come up with our color palettes. Um, you can see here under color, um, there are different color palette generators that you can do, that you can use, and we do have some resources for you to find these um, in the forum. And I'll share it along with this video for you to use if you want to. Um, but have fun with that, um, and but don't spend too much time on it. Uh, you can always change your color palette later if there's something that you don't like. Um, but do make sure that you have one, like a nice bright color for buttons, call to actions, things that you wanna draw people's attention to. So we'll be using these two colors as kind of bright colors and the rest being quite neutral, but high contrast. Okay, so dark and light. Uh, all right, and that's it for this lesson. In the next one, we're going to um, have a look at the logo. See you in the next lesson.